so I'm going to do a little bit of a like month month and a half recap of road and racing with the street stock so if you have been watching or been watching in person because I haven't had time to edit and post um we have raced only two times in the month of July just because we've been so busy uh and both times we crashed which that that sucks because I mean you never want to crash because you tear up stuff but um the first night we were racing and uh we felt really good in the heat race um but I I still started mid pack in the feature and it got really dry slick and I guess no one really figured it'd get dry slick but me and dad had a good plan if it was going to get dry slick or not anyway we take the green and we go into turn one and i'm looking to the left of me and i'll pop the video up after i'm done explaining my side of the story um, i'm looking to the left and then all of a sudden this guy starts spinning out and right whenever his nose is pointing at me i look over and i see him just coming at me and i i have nowhere to go or nothing to do so i just brace you know and he hits me in the right rear and sends me kind of flying to the left or to the right or whatever i don't remember for sure but i was staring at the i turned all the way around and i was staring and i was hoping somebody wouldn't hit me because i mean like in go coming from go-karts if you spun out somebody was going to hit you so i started the car back up and i was trying to get the flag guy to tell me if it was good or not because i mean it felt like a hard hit but i didn't know for sure and he was like no you're broke you're broke so i shut off the car and uh i get towed off the track and i get out and look rear end is bent and the bird cage broke the welds and bent so we take the next week off because i just didn't have time to get to the shop throughout the week but anyway um we don't have time the next week either but by uh thursday i'm like i want to race so me and dad thrash on trying to get this thing ready i thrash on it thursday the best i can and then friday i got off work really early actually because it was so hot and we got done what we needed to get done anyway dad made it home at a decent time too i think like one he got home and then we just started thrashing on this rear end and uh I think we left the house, the shop, and it's about a 30 to 45 minute drive to Fulton, to Callaway. And we left this house at, I think, 6. So, and driver's meeting is at 6.15 or 6.30. So we show up to the track right after they're done hot lapping. And uh, we unload. And, uh, well, first, before we left the shop, the last thing we did is check the tow on the rear end. And uh, the rear end is bent more than an inch and a half. So it looks pretty funky going going up on the trailer. It's like walking and stuff. It's bad. And uh, get to the track. I go into my heat race, and the thing just feels squirrely. You know, like, I mean, the bent, the bent rear end. So it feels squirrely. I get kind of the hang of it, and uh, we start 11th in the feature. And the track was kind of dry slick. It was technical. The track was technical. And uh, so uh, I'm, we race. I'm passing through cars. I was working for fourth. And uh, I saw this gap. I'll pop up the video of this too. I saw a gap going in turn three. I took it. Got nose to nose with the guy. And he came back down. And I had nowhere to go. And I thought I, I, was, thought I was just going to bump him. I hit him. We kind of, I hit him more with the nose and the side, and uh, all of a sudden I have no steering. I'm like cranking the uh, wheel to the right, and then I just hit the uke tire because I couldn't stop fast enough. It was hard to tell what all was going on, and uh, hit the uke tire. Then I had nothing. Everything was broke. All the steering was broke from spindle to spindle, just broke, which sucks. So I get towed. But it's Wednesday, and we might try and race. I don't know if we're going to want to race with a, with a bent rear end again. Uh, 
we'll talk to Jimmy and see what he thinks we should do. Um, so we're in the search of a new rear end. So yeah, that's pretty much a recap of the past couple races. I'm really starting to get the hang of this thing, and uh, I feel like I am. I mean, everyone, there's always bad nights, and we're having a little bit of a struggle right now. At least I am, driving-wise. But um, I'm going to try and get it back on track. I've been watching my videos over and over, just trying to figure it out. Um, I will get more of my GoPro videos up and going on YouTube, but it's just hard to find the time because it takes hours to edit. But that's just excuses. I'll have them up as soon as I can. Um, so hopefully we get back out there pretty soon. And I also would really like to thank Jimmy and Tanya for everything that they do for me. Um, giving me the time of day. I mean, it's awesome to let a 16-year-old drive their car. Whoa. I would also like to thank Keith Raderman with Onsite Shop and Auto. I just would like to thank everybody for coming up to me even after we've had a rough month of racing people still come up to me shake my hand tell me i'm doing great and whenever you're struggling and trying to power through all the struggles of racing and life it really means a lot whenever people come up and shake my hand or even give me a hug saying i'm doing a great job people i don't even really know people i just see around at the track just telling me I'm doing a great job, and it just means a lot to me and our team. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys, even on social media. I mean, our YouTube is climbing. The last video at CMS with the shop uh, has almost 300 views now, which, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I'd be scared talking to 300-plus people in person. But I just want to say thank you, and hopefully we can keep this rolling. And, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you, Jimmy and Tanya, for letting me drive the classic 007.